here we go for real now. All right. And yeah, I think this is like a pretty respectable stage for the matchup. Yep. It's kind of mainly about clarity in the range. Since uh, Rhino has all the has all the fast moves and Foot Clarion has all the long moves. But, uh... Yeah, this like I called the 40-40 matchup just because these characters both like prey on each other's weaknesses so well. Yeah, it can feel really bad losing this matchup from either side. Mm -hmm. It's super easy to just get vortexed and oppressed, especially if you're off stage. Both of these characters edge guard each other super hard. Yeah, for sure. I think Rano has some like the scarier gimmicks versus uh Claren. But Claren definitely has some really strong rinser feats. Saw so just a grab on the parry punish, which is super suboptimal because Claren has time to do a tipper down air or side beam, combo that into a grab. It's, just, it's the same thing, but you can more damage in the first place before doing the grab. Mm -hmm. The strongest move. Coming into play here. Doesn't follow up that tipper down tilt at all. Uh, just yeah. kind of dash dances, end up dying for it. I think like double detail's a really good one. To... Yeah, double detail's really hard to tech, really hard to ledge tech because you're trying to wait out the first down tilt to tech that maybe, and you just get doubled. Bit of a 50-50 of the ledge return. And Jason moving super, super well right now, just getting all these little hits in. Quick neutral ones. Yeah, and like ultimately, because he already has the lead, you know, that's all you really need. Big neutral. Just the well. Classic, yeah. I All mean, right. could have could have just done a uh, side special to kill out that person. Yeah, like that's what I was kind of thinking at first. Like, okay, well, if you get the if you get the thunder, it works. But I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a di thing. Yeah, I almost never go for it, just because I feel like it's. I kind of know that like at a certain point, people are gonna be able to react to it. Yeah. And I like don't. It's a once it's a once per set jam for me. That's fair. Like, I do occasionally see it work at higher levels. Yeah. But it's never been something I've been willing to incorporate because I always kind of heard that it was, like, not super bad to react to, at least offline. Oh, yeah. It's definitely more of an onliner. It's really just catching people being lazy and not bothering to react to it, just picking the direction. Right. Good neutral run for Mercy here. Jay isn't gonna be able to get very many hits in it at all. Like just like little backers here and there. Ooh, that was a really good recovery. Well, the tongue. Okay, it kind of died, but I like yeah. the like getting the tongue and then immediately like slipping back to try to fake mercy out. Yeah, fake ups are good, but you do still need a plan to get back on the stage after you right. pull them. Here's the Rhino Edge Guard coming out now. Good air dodge back on. Just takes a couple needles. Oh, that's a lot of percent you're taking. And you're oh. DI'ing down, so you died a four. I don't un quite know what the game plan was in neutral there. Me neither. That was a. I don't uh, think that's like, gonna work. Mercy was playing alright, and then just kind of. Started down tilting in the corner. Yeah. I mean, down tilt's good, but like. Yeah, not the seventh one might be less effective than the first. It's second. also just like Jason's on flat, so like you're not really yeah, gonna accomplish exactly. anything by like down tilting an opponent on flats. And like Jason's habits in neutral are very platform centric with the movement, so I think it was pretty expected for them to take to the flats after seeing you blocking off the lay on the ground with down tilts. Yeah. So this is a pretty popular Aquarian counter pick. Yeah, I mean, Aquarian, I'm feeling really likes all the stages with the all stage platforms because her recovery needs needs the boost or she can get it. For sure. I mean, like, Rano can use to his advantage, but it's definitely not nearly as important. Oh boy. Ooh, I feel like... I mean, this is like a one-off thing, but... I think Mercy could be trying to, like, incorporate aerials in their combos better. Right, yeah, well, just not really getting tippers. Uh, still will say that. I have not seen any up air though, which is one of Karn's most important combo aerials, both versions. Yeah, so there's that grab again. Another bad DI on the forward air. Has nothing. I'll run a forward tilt though, yeah, it's a beneficial trade for Claren for sure. For sure. I like that, good recovery. 
can be a bit predictable uh, with that dive kick edge canceling, but overall, probably not gonna edge guard the first time you see it. Yeah, I mean. Up cancel. Woo! There's okay. there it is. Yeah, you gotta di di out on that needle. Uh, needle fair used to be true, as was needle needle fair. You could just throw two of them. Man. I don't, and I don't mean charging two of them. I mean throw a single needle, combo that into itself, and then fair them for a kill, guaranteed. I don't understand. A top tier Rano was a, was a fun character. I am sure he was. I really like that uh, plot shot bear right there. Yeah, it's just good plat movement. Alright. Oh, so that's just a down strong. Um, but again, I mean, you could always do a down strong out of a down air or a side special if you want. And that, that tacks on another at least 12%, I think. Maybe more. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, it burns everything except the air dodge. And now in the bubble, drifting all the way out, so Rano cannot follow it up. And takes that recovery. Yeah, it can be pretty tough to see uh, players in these tournaments edge guarding the player up, up special. Like, you just get just kind of standing there. I don't really know what they're expecting to happen when they stand there against player. Yeah. Maybe they think they can reaction parry at the startup and it just doesn't happen. I don't know. Trying to trade with it in some way. But more often than not, like, way more often, they just get bumped by it and the player recovers. Rana can definitely Rana uh, try to get from, like, the bubble block. Yeah, Rana's got a lot of cheese for that. But that is definitely like a have you gotten them far enough off stage that you have the time to set it up type of deal. Yeah, it does exactly. take a little bit. That's pretty rare in that respect. Yeah, I missed the wave line there. Fortunate, but it happens. Just kinda keep clearing the corner here. Ooh, I think there might have been enough strong right there. <laughs> Getting kicked around a bit. Oh, parries that, and here's the tongue. There we go. Yeah, Mercy's like really struggling to find this kill here. The tongue, something like a strong here. Yeah. So he her oh, oh, Ooh. goodbye. That's the wrong way. Pasta is deciding, hey, this game, not really worth it anymore. Yep. Let's try this again. The Rano experience. Truly. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, this Don't can only go. Yep. Don't do that. Come on, man. Well, you know. Not even. Okay, well. Oh we got, well. We got a very quick three stock coming up. Yeah, uh, GB4 even. Perfect game. Didn't even have to move. Well, uh, one moment here. Yep. Oh boy. So I would uh, recommend playing out all your matches, even if you think you're gonna lose them, so you can look at them later. And, uh... Yeah, definitely. Oof. 